Bazaar Airport today, Lester B. Pearson's 14th annual John Schofield Science and Technology Day was cleared for takeoff. More than 2,000 elementary and high school students gathered on the airfield, and they saw firsthand why working hard at math might someday actually pay off. Cindy Sherwin reports. Seven-year-old Tyra has only been here a couple of hours, but her career choice is a done deal. Yes. Yes? What do you want to be? A pilot. It's nice to see the kids that are interested in showing how the controls work. Okay, let me show you about the airplane. 50 volunteer exhibitors put the children through their paces here at St. Lazar Airport with great enthusiasm. And it's so very satisfying to be able to, to give a little bit of, in my case, 50 years of flying. Lester B. Pearson teachers got as much out of it as the kids. It's not just about um, aviation. It's about getting a taste of what all the different sciences are. A well-rounded program with one simple goal. To have them really understand how science and technology is so important to a global economy. <laughs> so whether it's working with experts from the West Island Amateur Radio Club. This is the rocket we use to go to the moon. Or learning about space flight at the Cosmodome booth. Boredom was clearly kept at bay. <laughs> As soon as you get their hands dirty, they, they can't pry them away. The robotics tent was a hot ticket. It was all about robots and everything, and it all moves like, it takes lots of electricity to make all this stuff. I really find it was really cool driving the, I kind of find it cool how they make the special effects. Cool, but also relevant. Well, most of my students that come out of the robotics program have gone into engineering. Even I got distracted from my day job by this advanced ultralight plane. Its owner, a Bombardier test pilot, gave me a few tips. And then bring your other leg right in, right click that. Oh, I see. There you go. Okay. Now, I know you could do it because I'm bigger and I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep All right. your feet here? Now you see those footrests? If only I could fly it myself. Maybe one day one of these children will have that chance. Cindy Sherwin, CTV News.